So, it is about the presenter. <laughs> so, my name is Carla. My major is <laughs> I'm very pretty and funny and I'm very picky. And I love and I'm religious as well. So, here's about the rest. intracellular pathogen, which means um, it needs a host to be able to metabolize or uh, thrive or survive pretty much. Um, it is also, like a lot of the characteristics of this bacteria, um, are very similar to the ones for mycobacterium tuberculosis. Um, it is a gram positive and it is a bacteria. It's a bacillus and um, so the acid, the only way we can actually um, like the acid, it's an acid fast, and um, like the gram staining technique isn't very, um, it's not like the best way to go because of the mycolic acid it has around it. And um, so we can't really, it doesn't grow in um, the artificial poultry media. Instead, they use mouse's feet, which is Aww. there to be able to test for this bacteria. But it's actually pretty cool, it's a pretty cool bacteria. So uh, the diseases that it causes, um, it causes leprosy, also known as uh, Hansen's disease. And um, it was discovered in 1873 by Gerald Armour Hansen. Um, so this bacteria actually has uh, two stages to it. So um, the first stage is what you see right here, and it's called uh, mycobacterium tuberculoid. So this one, your body can actually fight it off. Um, and this one attacks your um, lymphocytes. And um, so it, it causes you to have like white patches with the red ring around it, and like the middle of the white patches are hairless. And it attacks your Schwann cells, which are part of your peripheral nervous system. So uh, you lose sensation to um, the areas around there. And um, so yeah, you can actually bypass one off. But then if it worsens up, um, it turns into uh, mycobacterium lepromidus, which is what you see over here. Um, so that one attacks your monocytes and your epithelial cells. Well, they both attack your epithelial cells, and um, you lose sensation to that area as well. So you develop these like papillary-looking things, and um, yeah, so it's actually pretty bad. And so um, with that one, it actually attacks uh, the epithelial cells around your face and your earlobes, causing you to have what is called like a lion's face. So uh, further penetration of this bacterium um, also causes you to lose bone. So mainly on your hands and toes. So it kind of eats up your bones. So those are just some examples. <laughs> uh, so it also causes you to get like blindness, blindness, and uh, also claw-like hands. And since um, it does attack your face, like I said, it helps you get like congestion. All right, signs and symptoms. Fatigue. Uh, skin lesions, nasal congestion, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> so you will not have sex a ton if you have leprosy. <laughs> I mean, then again, you wouldn't want to kiss somebody who has leprosy. So, like uh, <laughs> hands and, you know, lion's face. Um, and also, uh, seriousness of the disease is uh, kidney failure, uh, death, uh, and loss of appetite. So 
well, the reason I actually chose this was actually because, you know, like you saw in the beginning, I am religious. So I was like really curious about this because I read the Bible and this um, disease goes like many years back, many years, many years back. And it was taught that, um, or you know, back then they thought that it was because you know, we were sinners. So that they were, they would actually have islands where they would settle 